Hey guys, welcome to another Hostinger Academy video. My name is Kastudis and today we will be learning how to create a landing page. So without any further ado, let's jump right to it. Before we go over the technical aspects of how you can create your own landing page, let's take a deeper dive into what a landing page even is and what methods you can employ to make yours the most effective. In short, a landing page is a static website designed to get leads and customers via a specific call to action. Whether you would like them to sign up for a free trial or add a specific product to their cart, there are certain steps you can follow to make sure your landing page is the most effective. You can use this type of pages in advertisements, as their clear and focused goal ensures that the client doesn't get distracted by tons of different menus and other options that are usually available on a regular web page. A great example of how a landing page should be made comes from Google and their own Google Docs platform. Here your attention is immediately grabbed by a very clear value proposition and a call to action. It instantly makes us feel encouraged to use Google Docs when it comes to creating online documents. So basically a landing page greatly encourages people to go for the good or service that you offer. All of your marketing efforts and social media outreach will bring in much better results if directed to an effective landing page. Before building your very own landing page, I would recommend taking these three steps. The first of which is define your conversion goals. The very foundation of your landing page is the goal you would like to achieve with it. Would you like your visitors to download your app? Maybe sign up for a weekly newsletter? Whatever the case might be, the most effective way to go about this is breaking it down to smaller targets. For example, the landing page of Spotify directs us to sign up for the free version of the app. However, using the free version of the app, you will get commercials in between songs. And so in order to get the best listening experience, you are encouraged to sign up for Spotify Premium. Here's where knowing your audience plays a critical role. Try to imagine the average landing page visitor and put yourself in their shoes. What would make you follow through with the proposition of your landing page? Having that goal in mind, you can fully switch your attention to it when building your own landing page. Now that you got that out of the way, the next step is to have a clear and direct value proposition. An extremely focused value proposition is a lot more effective when it comes to getting conversions. Avoid using general phrases such as a better solution for you or you'll find happiness with us. These types of phrases aren't that effective. A clear, short and focused message is exactly what you need to get your visitors perform the proposed action. Going back to Spotify as an example, they make it pretty clear that listening is everything. They also employ a short and simple tagline, highlighting how you can access millions of songs and podcasts completely free. Once you have a clear value proposition in mind, all there's really left to do is come up with an irresistible call to action. The key element when it comes to guiding your landing page visitors is having a clear, visible and an easy to understand call to action. This can either be a button or a sign up form. What matters is that it stands out and is easy to click on. Using bright and contrasting colors as well as actionable text that is short and to the point is proven to work best. Make sure that any images or other elements that you're using on your website doesn't bring the visitor's attention away from the call to action, as that is the main focus of the website. Some examples of commonly used call to actions are sign up for our newsletter, read more articles, get started, buy now, and free trial. Once you go over all of these steps, it's time to build your very own landing page. I will be building my landing page using WordPress and Elementor. Do keep in mind that the concepts I will be applying are irrelevant regardless of what platform you go with when building your own landing page. Let's go to Pages and click Add New. A new page will just be named Landing Page. Once we've given it a name, let's edit it with Elementor. As mentioned before, we want to have the least amount of distractions on our landing page. So let's head over to Options and choose Elementor Canvas for our page layout. What's really cool about Elementor is that it offers quite a lot of templates which you can use to streamline your page building process. Clicking on the folder icon here will bring up all the different templates that you can use. Let's use the search feature to find templates that were specifically designed for landing pages. Here you can pick out your favorite one. While some of them are paid, as indicated by the pro sign, there are quite a few free ones which you can use. I will go with this webinar one. My goal with this landing page is to get as many people to register for my webinar as possible. Moving on to my value proposition, what my webinar will offer is a ton of useful information in regard to email marketing for beginners. Having that in mind, something like unlock the power of email marketing seems to fit in great. An enticing tagline is also a good idea. 
Now, since I will not be offering any tours in my landing page, let's move our sign up button into another section, center it and remove the other section completely. Clicking on our sign up button will allow us to add the link to it, so I will add the webinar sign up page here. Now, I would also like to change the video to one of our previous webinars on Google Analytics. This is super simple to do, just click on the blue pencil icon on the top right corner and change the link in the menu on the left. Lastly, you can simply remove or fill in the other sections of the landing page with your preferred content. Feel free to edit the colors of different elements to make the landing page stand out visually. But don't forget that all of the attention of your website's visitor would need to be directed to the sign up button. Now that you know what it takes to build an effective landing page, the final tip I would give you is setting up Google Analytics so you can track all the new conversions that this page brings in. If you want to learn more about Google Analytics, check out this amazing webinar here. Perhaps you would like to see another video dedicated to Google Analytics. If so, leave your suggestions in the comments down below. If you found this video helpful, leave a like. And of course, stay subscribed for more amazing web development content in the future. Until then, I wish you best of luck in your online journey.